Good day everyone, today we're going to see how to do master material, so on the common browser, left click, I mean right click, create the material, name it M underscore master material, we're going to go right in it, and we're going to search for Kex coordinate, and after that we're going to search for texture parameter 2D, and when it's done here, we're just going to name that base color. I'm going to duplicate uh, this texture sample four more times, like so. And when it's all done, I'm just going to rename all of them to the name that match to the right side. So this one will be a metallic. This one here will be a specular. This one here will be roughness. And the last one, but not the least, will be normal when that it's all done i'm gonna hold m on the keyboard to create a multiplier node i'm gonna do that four more times like so on the screen i'm just gonna replace that so it's look a little bit better and organized and after i'm gonna hold one on the keyboard i'm gonna convert this node to a parameter and i'm gonna name that base color strength and when it's done i'm just gonna copy and paste that node four more times to match every texture sample and this one here i'm gonna rename that and i'm just gonna call that metallic and i'm gonna call this one a uh, specular well, i mean roughness and i'm gonna call the uh, other one specular and like so oh i guess i just reversed that so i'm just gonna replace that here we go and this one here i'm gonna call that normal and i'm just gonna connect all of them to uh basically the multiplier node so the texture sample in port a and uh, this node here in b and so on for every single of the texture like so and now we just gonna search for i'm just gonna connect that first to the, the good port here as you can see and now i'm just gonna search for dialer temporal so just type this and next to that just search for multiplier by holding m on the keyboard just connect that to the uh, pixel depth offset and just create another node by holding one and just call it a blending connect that to a multiplier b here and just make sure you plug your texture coordinate here so everything is working properly so when that is done your master material is all ready to go so the only thing you have to do now is just we're going to save and we're just going to create a material instant so when you do that, you will be able uh, to use that for several material. So I'm going to create an instant here. I'm going to go right in it just to show you. So here, as you can see on the right side, you can edit all the strength of your uh, value by uh, checking the box and all your texture coordinate. And if you want some texture, you can go to Quicksil Bridge for free and you get all of it. So you just place everything you want in a good spot and you all set and ready to go. So hopefully I hope everything is good for you guys and it was helpful and I will uh, catch you on the next one. Okay, see you later.